Hello, and welcome to my isolation bunker, which looks a lot like a shitty kitchen in a Birmingham flat. <laughs> that's, that's my aesthetic. Um, today I thought I'd go through my football shirts, I've seen other people are doing it, so why not jump on the bandwagon? Um, I, I have a lot, I'm looking over here because there's a big pile of them, um, so it's, it's going to be fun. I've got plenty of time on my hands, so why not? Uh, I'll also do like a little anecdote as to why I own each shirt. If it's interesting, I guess 90% of them are just, I like it. And that's going to be boring for the most part. So, um, got my trusty microphone. Let's, let's get cracking. I also have my iPad here, which uh, I can I can see myself on. Um, I'm going to go this way. Uh, so, the first one is this uh, Rochdale jacket. Uh, I believe it's 15, 16, 2015, 2016. Um, it's a medium. Fits like a small. I'm so happy I bought it. <laughs> Uh, the the badge is peeling off though, sadly. Uh, it's only had like one wash, but that's that's life. Next up is this rather fantastic jacket uh, from uh, Germany. It was the for the 2018 World Cup. Uh, it was also available for Spain and Mexico. I found out um, in the Nike store in Wembley. Uh, they still had some, but the Germany one is the best because the Germany badge is is the best. I have a lot of Germany shirts and only one England shirt. We'll, we'll soon find this out. <laughs> then it's just this Dortmund blackout hoodie. Um, I'm going to try and move it so you can see the Dortmund badge, but you can't. Um, I have this in yellow as well, uh, but that's in the wash, so you can't see that, sadly. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like anything blackout. Here we have a, a Germany goalkeeper shirt coming in this way so I can see it. Yes, there we go. It's the goalkeeper shirt from the 2016 Euros. Yes, I have that correct. Um, Sartorial Soccer will be very happy to know I wear this. Um, it's a goalkeeper shirt. Uh, that's an in-joke if anyone gets it. Thank you. Um, um, yeah, Germany shirt. Uh, this one is probably one of my favourite ones. The, that was probably also very loud, I imagine. Um, yeah, it's one of my favourite ones. Uh, it was the Borussia Mönchengladbach 1996-97 away shirt. It's just amazing. Look at it. Uh, I bought it myself after I graduated. Um, this was my treat. Um, and then I wore it when I went to go uh, meet Ola, uh, who has been a big supporter of the podcast, so big respect to you, Ola. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, I wore it in London to visit him, uh, and we were in uh, a food market, and uh, someone was staring at me, and I just went, oh, do you like the shirt? And it turns out he was from Gladbach and is a supporter, so we got chatting to them. They were very nice. Here we have first of many uh, Manchester City shirts. Uh, I, I say many, I get one a season, so um, there's going to be a lot. Uh, th this season's away one was the best one for me. I don't like purple on the home one, so, uh, and I don't like being a tequila sunrise. Our third kits, as of late, have been grim. Uh, I do have one third kit in there, which has been our best one um, from 2013. But we'll, we'll get to that. Slow down, Ollie. We have another Man City shirt. What a shock. Uh, again, it's another third shirt. Uh, I believe this one was, um, no, it wasn't. 2014-15? I could be wrong. Oh, no, it wasn't, because it's Umbra. Oh, it must have been earlier. I I'm going to say 2010. I don't know. Oh, dear. And here's another City shirt. Uh, this one is from 2012-13 season, because I believe it followed the year we won the league uh, first time, which is actually the, the anniversary is today, so happy 93-20. Um, oh, what a day. I actually have all the kits from this season. Uh, this one was the away one. Uh, I got... The away and the third one in a sale because uh, they were too good to pass up and I bought the home one at the start of the season. Um, no printing on the back, but if there's printing, I'll let you know. This one is the 1997 Barcelona shirt by Kappa. It is fantastic. Uh, and my girlfriend bought the, me this uh, after my first podcast went live as a little celebration um, that went out a while ago. <laughs> I believe this is from the 2016-17 season or maybe 17-18. It, it was the kit um, last worn by Iniesta before he left. Uh, and the reason I bought it was because they had the um, Iniesta Infinity print on it where the 8 was on the side. Uh, so I bought it on Nike with that printing uh, and they sent it without. Uh, and then when I contacted them, they said that the deal had run out and they weren't doing it anymore. So I got a refund, but kept the shirt. Why not? This is the first shirt I have that's player issue. Um, it's the Napoli 2015-16 uh, away, I believe. Um, long sleeved because I love long sleeve shirts. Uh, it's a Kappa Combat fit, so if you know anything about that, uh, and if you listen to my episode on the Kappa Combat kit, um, oh, quite a, yeah, uh, it's incredibly tight fitting, um, but not flattering whatsoever. Uh, but I may wear it for next time I play football, which will be next up, uh, Northern Ireland, uh, nineteen ninety, say ninety two away. Um, 
I love it. It looks like a, a, in um, John Devlin's book on uh, international football kits, uh, he describes it as looking like a Q-Bert map, which is amazing. I love Q-Bert. Uh, the home one is green in uh, this. I really want the home one as well, um, but the away one is stunning. My, my dad got me this for Christmas a couple of years back, so thank you, Dad. Then we have this one. It's from the uh, 2018 World Cup. I have many from that World Cup, actually. Um, I was looking last night. It's quite alarming, actually. Um, yeah, this is the Germany away one. Uh, Germany didn't have a fantastic tournament, I don't remember, I believe. Um, but yeah, I bought this when I was in London, uh, just off Oxford Street. Uh, me and my missus went to go see Eminem live. Um, yeah. Uh, and they were giving free printing. So I got Cruz. It was either Cruz or Ozil. Uh, and uh, my missus made the joke of, I didn't want to lose the shirt because it'd go missing. Get it? Because Ozil's... Yeah. Uh, another one uh, from the 2016 Euros. Uh, oh, I think I have all the kits, that, actually. I just thought. Um, yeah, this one is the Germany away one. Um, it's got the World Cup winning crest on the front. Um, this one is reversible. As you can see, the, the green netting in there, uh, it's, it acts as a bib. It's incredibly uncomfy. This one is the 2017-18 uh, Juventus away shirt. Uh, I bought this one. I got the home and the away shirt from this year because uh, it was the first year that they changed the badge uh, to, to the more marketable one, I believe that is. Um, I got printing on this one. Uh, it's Dybala. Uh, I was very disappointed when he was nearly going to United. Um, but they're shit, so he's not going. <laughs> I have this uh, Ajax away one. I love a bit of lace. Um, this was uh, the 94-95 away shirt, I believe. Um, I bought it off eBay, off, um, I think it's called Paris, but it's uh, Toys Toys. He's the best eBay seller. Uh, I recommend him highly. Uh, but it's just a wonderful shirt, nice colour, and classic Umbro in the 90s. They just kind of chuck shit everywhere. There's a, This is the goalkeeper shirt uh, from 2018-19 for Ferro de General Pico. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Portuguese. Uh, they're the Brazilian team. Uh, they somehow have Simpsons characters on their shirts. I'm not too sure... Uh, whether they've they've faced any legal action for that, uh, but there's another one with it tuned scratchy on with more adverts on uh, that I would really like. Uh, and then underneath that is this uh, La Jolla Locra broccoli shirt. Um, who who doesn't love broccoli? It's wacky. There are there are a uh, lower division team in Spain. Uh, a lot of teams there are sponsored by food produce and local farmers and whatnot. Uh, these sponsored by broccoli. So yeah. Uh, I'm a poor student boy. Um, I have a lot of score draw um, and city shirts. Uh, I. In an ideal world, I'd love to have the, the originals. Um, I'm working on it as well. However, uh, if you know anything about City shirts, this one is like gold dust. Uh, it's from uh, 1997 to 1999. It was made by Kappa uh, and worn in the famous game against Gillingham. Um, it's it's an amazing shirt. Uh, I, I would like a real one, uh, but I'm, I'm happy with score draw for now. Uh, this is the one from the... Uh, this is the third shirt it's for City from the 2012-13 season, uh, I think. Um... As I said, this is the season I got all three kits. Uh, this one I got printing of uh, Company on the back. Uh, it was uh, free printing because it's a bit bumpy, so I think it was a, a faulty one. But um, it's not the best shirt. It's purple and a luminous green. It's just, yeah, grim. Uh, but um, Vinny. This is the 1997, uh, or is it 96, 97? Who knows? Um, Borussia Dortmund away shirt. Uh I'm called Oliver Shepherd, um, and the the sponsor is uh, S. Oliver. So I I'm always asked if this is my shirt or if I've personalised it in any way. No, just convenience. It's born in '97 as well, so it's even better. Um, I can't remember why I bought this one. Uh, Dorman is my German team, so I'm guessing that's why. Uh, this one is a rainbow. Uh, it's the uh, Deportivo Guadalajara shirt in Spain. Um, the 2015, I believe it was. Um, uh, the rainbow on it, each stripe represents a different charitable cause, and uh, each shirt sale, uh, a percentage of the shirt sale went to each charitable cause. Uh, I did an episode on this, I believe it was episode four, because um, there were two teams in Spain at the same time which had rainbow kits. The other was um, Rayo Vallecano, um, which is a sash. Uh, I like sash shirts, they're great. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, this is Hummel, so you've got your chevrons down the body, um, it's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, this one was a limited edition Las Palmas one. Um, it wasn't actually the kit for the season. Uh, they just brought it out. Uh, it's a cancer research one. You can see if I... Ooh, focus. Yeah. Um, I believe they only made a couple of these, so maybe a hundred odd or so. Um, it came in a nice snazzy, snazzy box, uh, but I keep it on the hanger and the box in a cupboard. Um, but yeah, it's it's just something different. Again, it's made by Hummel. Um, Chevron's going across the shirt in this uh, kind of watermark pattern, but... I really like it. Uh, it, is a, it is a small. I'm normally a medium, so I don't wear this at all. Um, but it's a nice collector's item. 
uh, another City one. I believe this was 2010. Um, I got this at the end of the season. It was the away shirt. Uh, I wasn't fully sold on it during the season, um, but they were offering free printing. So I got uh, The Man Who Bleeds Blue, uh, Pablo Zabaleta. What a guy. Uh, I did an episode of Kitted Out on hearts and other fan-owned teams, uh, so it felt wrong to not get a hearts shirt. I believe this was the one from 2000. Um, lovely Strongbow sponsor and a nice jazzy pattern at the bottom. Uh, the seller on eBay said so this was a large. I bought it. I think it's an XL or a double XL, um, so it's like a dress on me, so I don't wear it. Um, if anyone wants any of these shirts, offer me something, uh, and if I'm swayed, then yes, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's a great shirt, um, and I like the team as well. Uh, this is a uh, Bayern Munich training top. I believe it's from 2016. Um, I got this for Christmas uh, with a Dortmund shirt as well. I'm not too sure how they felt being wrapped together. Um, but yeah, training shirts are good. Uh, we're getting getting into my archive of uh, Spain shirts now. So uh, this is the 2018 uh, World Cup one. Um, copying a pattern from 2016. No, 2016. Uh, copying the design from uh, 1996. Oh, was it? Was it 94? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, wonderful design. Um, I like the Adidas moving to the front, uh, in the middle, sorry. Uh, and uh, Adidas just smashed the 2018 World Cup. Like, some of the kits were great. I-, I bought this one through Twitter um, with a Germany shirt, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but it's uh, number six. Uh, it's from the 2014 World Cup, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, it's got Iniesta printing on it as well, and it still has the tags on it. Um, so I'm I'm very happy with this. Uh, I've not worn this, obviously, with the tag still on. It's a very snazzy shirt. Uh, this one is the 1992 Spain shirt. Um, I love the design of uh, the, the three Adidas stripes going down the shoulders. Um, Adidas kind of had a bit of a crisis in the 90s in terms of where to, to put their Adidas stripes. It was all over. At one point, it was across the shirt as well. Um, they were all great designs, though. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, so this is the Spain shirt from 1996. Uh, again, my dad got me this for Christmas with that um, island one. Uh, so these two were wrapped together. I don't know, does d- Spain and Ireland have a, <laughs> a rivalry? Um, but it's a, it's a wonderful shirt. The away ones are also very nice. Um, these two colours are reversed. So the main shirt is uh, blue and this stripe down here is red. Um, I do wish to get that. I like the button-up neck as well. It's a nice little round neck. It's quite quite a good fit. And then underneath that, if anyone follows me on Twitter, uh, you'll know that I've, I've referenced a shop in Birmingham a few times that um, cuts football shirts into crop tops and it makes me cry. Um, but during the World Cup in 2018, they were selling shirts, uh, which they didn't really do. Um, this one is the 2012 Spain shirt, I believe, or could it be 2014? No, I've got the 41. Uh, no, yeah, this is the 2014 Spain shirt. Um, it's got uh, Xavi on the back. Uh, I only spent eight quid on this um, with a shirt with Xavi on the back. Yes, please. Uh, this one is the Man City away shirt from twenty, sorry, twenty, um, two thousand and three to four. Yeah, um, I believe it was the first year at um, Eastlands or Etihad Stadium as it is now. Um, first advice is uh, one of our many sponsors that have gone bust, I believe. Um, I also heard the other week that apparently the the red and black stripes is something to do with AC Milan. So I'm going to research that because that's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, good shirt from my childhood, and again, long sleeved. It's great. Uh, this one is another one from the 2018 World Cup. Uh, this one's the Belgian one, uh, copying a design from uh, 82, could be earlier, um, but the, the, the original design is fantastic. Uh, where this pattern is across, it's in a white band, and it's got a, a collar, whereas this is more of a, a wrap over V-neck. Uh, it's very nice. Um, I like both shirts, but yeah, another one from the World Cup. Uh, another score draw, City one. Uh, I believe this one, uh, 94, 95 away shirt, or 95, 96. Chelsea had this shirt as well in the... Gr- like a grey, orange and blue um, you'll know the one I'm on about it's sponsored by Cause. it's a <laughs> wild shirt uh, this one is the uh, Atletico Madrid home shirt from uh, 20... what year are we in now? from 2018 to 19 um, I, I bought it uh, I was in London uh, at the end uh, sorry, end of February, start of March uh, staying near Wembley so I went to the uh, Nike store picked up there, it was on sale so why not? There's another Spain shirt uh, I bought, uh, this is from... Um, 2000 to 2002, I believe. Um, I wore this uh, when uh, I got the Germany shirt from uh, last, 2018, the away one. Uh, so I was wearing it around London. Uh, it's got Guardiola printed on the back. Um, I was asked by a couple of Americans whether I bought it in a shop because they wanted one. Uh, no, it's mine. Uh, it's from Class Club shirts. I think they've still got some. So uh, who doesn't love Pep? The Scottish League tends to be a big one of collectors for like Celtic and, and um, Rangers. I don't own a Celtic shirt. Uh, I, this is the only Rangers shirt I have. Um, it was just in a in a shop, and I 
I've still got the tag actually. I think I only spent. Yeah, it was a tenner. So, um. Why not? I, I own a Ranger shirt for a tenner. It's the away one. Uh, I believe it's the late 90s. Um, another one from the year 2000, uh, from the Euros. I just done an episode on this one as well, so, um, you know, <laughs> listen to it. Uh, but uh, this is the Italy shirt. I spoke about the, the Napoli combat shirt earlier. This was the first one, um, the combat 2000 shirt. Uh, it's, it was designed to stretch 50 centimetres further than its original shape to get the, the attacker away. Um, it just ended up being a, a fantastic shirt, a really strange neck, um, it's a very tight round neck, but um, a flattering fit if you're a better build than, than me and other shirt collectors. Uh, so this is a Brazilian team, uh, Madeira I think, uh, Madeira, I can't remember, I googled the team last night, forgot the name, um, I can't remember the story as to why they have Che Guevara on the front of their shirt, but um, who doesn't want a shirt with a weird political figure uh, at the bottom, uh, it's wacky. Next up is my oldest shirt. Um, it wasn't actually plain in though. Uh, it's a template shirt, which uh, are available. Uh, this one was the 1980 to 82 uh, Atalanta Chiefs uh, over in America. Um, I've just got the template with no badge, uh, but the, the original shirt in this white patch here had where the um, Atlanta Chiefs badge was, and it's a Chiefs across here. Um, the original shirt is great. It features the classic Adidas Street Fall logo, which is now an Adidas Originals logo. Um, please bring that back, Adidas. It's, it's amazing. Look at it. Uh, next up is this Portugal jacket, uh, which is quite heavy and is completely obliterated, this hanger. Um, it's like a pop button uh, jacket, so it's quite um, quite snazzy. Uh, I don't really have much else to say about this. I'm sure everyone knows this one, um, so I'll, I'll be quick. Uh, I, I, I actually wanted to get um, a sh Belgium shot, uh, shirt uh, from uh, the 80s when this one's by Admiral. It was the tramline one, which uh, Wales also had. Uh, it was on class football shirts, but it sold uh, before I could buy it. Uh, but it meant I had enough for uh, for this. Um, this is the uh, Ajax 1988 to uh, uh, 90. If I, have I got my years right? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, uh, everything's still intact, amazingly. A lot of these aren't. Umbro logo is still um, pretty pretty great, and um, it's just a fantastic design. You've you've probably seen it everywhere. The same shirt I bought, the same shop I bought the Rangers shirt from. Um, just randomly started doing shirts for a bit. Uh, this is like a, a, a Belgian um, non-league team or like a lower division team. I have no idea. Uh, the only reason I bought it because I fell in love with the sleeves. They are fantastic. Like a weird stripe thing. It looks more like a handball shirt to be honest. But um, I can't get the sleeve. I've turned into a mong. Uh, yeah, they're great. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one is the... Um, uh, Italy uh, jacket. Uh, I believe it was from uh, my research said it was 1990, uh, but that would have been Italian 90, and I believe they would have had a better jacket than this. I do really like this jacket, but uh, the kit for that tournament, uh, I don't know. I think they should have done better. Well, this is just a, a city leisure wear jacket. It's got no supplier or anything. Uh, I had it as a kid, um, uh, grew out of it pretty quickly, uh, went into the city store, and they had it again, so um, got it. Yay! Uh, so this next shirt is one of the first few um, pieces we had with Nike. Uh, it's uh, just a Nike jacket. Um, I remember this because uh, on the back of some of them, they had uh, City in a luminous yellow on the back, and it was quite grim. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't get this one, uh, that one. Uh, but, but this one just has, um, it's quite plain on the front, just a yellow Nike tick. Uh, and the uh, taping down the sleeve with the City badge in the middle. It's uh, quite quite great. Now, we were only with Nike for nine years, so this, this causes a bit of contention, but we did win a lot with them. Uh, so this is the uh, City Nike mashup shirt. Um, it's just a combination of all our shirts, I believe. There's only one or two missing uh, from this. It features the old badge uh, on the reverse in the Illuminous green bit. Um, that was one of the worst kits we had with them. Um, uh, I've kept the label on this as well. Um, it was never worn in a game, it's just as a, a, a warm-up and a training shirt. Um, but they're, they're, they were limited edition, they're numbered as well, so um, why not keep it, yeah? Next up is another score draw one, um, it's this one, uh, I believe it's, um, asked, you know what, I'm just going to type it out in the front, um, but it's from the 90s, uh, I remember the away one was uh, like a burgundy red, I think it was early 90s, so maybe 1990, uh, maybe a bit later than that, I don't know, um, I'm young. <laughs> so there are, there are, there are two shirts uh, on this hanger, 
um, this the, the first one we can see uh, is the 1997-99 uh, home shirt. Uh, it was done by Kappa. Again, this is a score draw one, so there's no Kappa. Uh, but the Kappa taping used to be down the sleeves, um, as it did in the 90s. It's a great shirt. Uh, and then uh, this one uh, is the one from the 2015-2016 uh, Premier League season. Uh, I bought it um, before I, I knew which uni I was going to, before I got my results. Um, so that didn't influence who I got on the back. I got uh, Delph, uh, probably the only person to do so. I did really like him when he was at Villa. Uh, I then ended up going to uni um, in Birmingham and living about five minutes away from Villa Park. So I didn't wear this shirt that much. <laughs> so this is one after the one with the Delph uh, shirt. Uh, this is the 16-17 um, home shirt. Uh, I didn't get the away one, uh, but that one was really nice. Uh, but I got Delph again on the back of this. Uh, then the, the season after that. So this is um, the seventeen eighteen home shirt. Uh, again, um, Gundogan on the back. I thought I'd change it up from Delph. Sorry, Fab. And guess what? Another one. Uh, so this is the, the season after that one. Uh, this is last season, actually. So um, nineteen, sorry, 18 to 19 season. Um, this is the first City shirt I got with Gundogan on the back. I can't believe it's taken that long for me to get one with the wearer on the back. But uh, I own one now. Uh, then I've got this one. Uh, this is the 125th anniversary shirt we have. Um, it was done by Puma earlier this year. Uh, it was worn in the Community Shield game against Liverpool, uh, which City won. Um, but it's just such a nice, clean shirt. Uh, the Puma badges and the logos, but it's um, similar stitching colour of blue, uh, so it kind of disappears. So the only prominent feature is the club badge and the 125 years underneath, uh, and then a, a white round neck and uh, cuffs on the sleeve. But it, it's so clean and amazing. And then next up is probably the best shirt we had with Nike. Um, I can't remember the year exactly. Um, I think it may have been 2010-11 uh, or maybe maybe after. Oh, no, it wasn't. Do you know what? This was 13-14. Um, and it's it's just one of the best home shirts we've had, period. Um, similar to the 125-year the, uh, shirt with the white round neck. Uh, this one with more of a black trim, though. Um, but it was it's just so nice to look at. <laughs> I have a random training shirt from 2013. Uh, I like stripes, so I liked this. And then uh, this one is um, for the first shirt uh, from when I supported City from Chelsea. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Because glory hunt, no. Um, so this is from 2008-2009. Um, it was one of the Lecoq sportive shirts that we had. Um, they were hit and miss with us, really. Um, I bought this one for my birthday, uh, and it's got company on the back. as number 33. It's when we signed him as a midfielder, uh, so... I have uh, another score draw one here. Um, again, I don't remember the year. Maybe, let's say 96. Let's just throw out a year and I'll type out what it is. Um, again, I'd like to own the real one. Uh, I believe this one was done by Umbro as well. I think this is the one. Um, I think this may have been 96, 97 because I seem to remember uh, the Gallagher brothers wearing this set of kits. Um, next up, we have uh, the um, pre-match jacket of 2013, I believe. It could have been 14, 15. Uh, I'm trying to think when the, this blackout badge was. Um, but it was a uh, worn pre-match, uh, I think, anthem jacket. Um, it was large when I bought it. It still kind of drowns me now, but sentimental purposes and all. And then remember the two previous City shirts I said, where I had all the kits from that season? Uh, so we had the purple one, uh, the black one, uh, and then this is the home one. Um, yeah, not really much to say on this one. Um, Premier League patches are peeling off 2013-14. Um, they are gold because we won the year before. Uh, and Zabra on the back. What a guy. Uh, again, like with the um, Atletico Madrid shirt I had, I bought this when I was in Wembley. Um, being a City fan, go to Wembley a lot. <laughs> Humble brag. Uh, but this is the uh, away shirt, or it could be the third shirt from Bayern Munich, uh, from either last season or the season before. I should probably do more research on this one, actually. But it's a nice, like, mint green colour. Uh, the lighting isn't here, fantastic here, but this may throw off the camera. Uh, this is a fantastic Dortmund shirt. I believe this one was 94, uh, 95 shirt, so it would have been one of the first few shirts uh, Dortmund had with Nike, and uh, Nike would have been quite early into the kit game. Uh, at this point, so um, with flying colours, uh, Phil Dells has just covered this shirt in um, Phil's corner. He had the away one, which was white, um, even better than this one. Uh, but this is just fantastic. Uh, ne uh, another Dortmund shirt. Um, I can't fully remember the year on this one. Um, it was it was just nice. It was in a period where I bought a Dortmund shirt each year. Uh, the first one is is coming up next. Uh, but I got uh, Julian Weigel on the back, who has now sadly left. He's now at Benfica. So this was the first Dortmund shirt I bought. It was um, after I, I decided for them to be my uh, German team. They were um, they were playing Liverpool in a pre-season friendly, uh, and that's uh, I watched that game, was introduced to this kit, and was like, 
Oh damn, I need that. Um, it's it's just great. I decided to get uh, Jakob Blaszczykowski on the back. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Uh, and then after that, I have uh, probably the the latest shirt. Uh, I have. I haven't had any from the last couple of seasons. Um, but again, I got this one for Christmas with that Bayern um, training shirt. So uh, they didn't rip each other apart. Gladly. Uh, but uh, no printing on this one, sadly, but it's just, uh, it's a good Puma shirt. Now, I love training jackets, and I love Dortmund, so this is one of the best things I own, personally. It's got a quarter zip, um, it's quite thin as well, pockets scratch out all the way, uh, big Puma logo on the back, but the, the sleeves are just incredible. Puma have been throwing away these, like, weird designs, I don't really know how to describe it, but the city training gear this year, and I know West Brom's away shirt this year, um, uh, kind of similar wavy patterns and it's it's great. I bought this one for Father's Day. I'm not a father, but I bought it for my father. Um, the Class 4 shirts had two, uh, one in a large and one in a medium. So I gave my dad the large, uh, I kept the medium, uh, but it's a um, Rochdale shirt. I believe it was from 1992. Uh, it's the away shirt. Um, my family are from Rochdale, so uh, that's, that's, that's why. I'm not just decided to get a random shirt. Um, but uh, my dad was very happy to uh, open this. He saw the Smith's Metal uh, logo and uh, <laughs> he laughed a lot. Guess what competition this is from? You, you got it. It's another World Cup 2018 shirt. Uh, this one is the Columbia shirt. Um, again, another uh, classic-inspired kit uh, from the 90s. Uh, this one is long-sleeved as well, uh, and I'm sure a lot of people own this shirt because I think it was Eminem Direct had them and they were selling them for like four quid so a lot of people own this if you follow my podcast uh, this shirt is near and dear to me i say shirt it's the first episode i did it's the 2004 cameroon shirt again i say shirt because it, it's a one piece um yeah i don't really have much else to say on this uh, the zips are on the shoulders uh, on how you climb in that's probably the, the question i'm asked the most uh, I'll, I'll get closer in a sec um but yeah it's it's skin tight it's not flattering at all but I'm very happy I own it. My dad got me this shirt. Uh, it was after I graduated. He was in Germany and Austria. He was travelling anyway. Uh, and picked up this uh, Red Bull Salzburg shirt. The away shirt. I believe it was from last year. Um, it's the first Red Bull shirt I own. Given how many clubs they own. Um, it's quite shocking. Um, but yeah, I remember when this kit came out. It was referenced as a rhubarb and custard kit. Because they're away shirts. Sorry, they're home shirts. Uh, these next two shirts are kind of linked. Uh, but only in my head. Uh, so uh, one of the episodes I did um, late last year, I, I got the chance to go uh, to Sheffield and interview Nicky Weaver about, about the um, Kappa kits that C had in 1999. And while I was there, I had a bit of time. So I, I went into the Sheffield Wednesday shop and bought the uh, shirt from 2017, which was the 150 year, year anniversary kit. I believe this one was the away one. Um, the kits are made by their shirt sponsor, which I believe is an energy drink. So that's that's quite different. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a funky shirt. And then after releasing the episode uh, of Kitted Out on the City Kappa kits, um, it was a couple of weeks later, uh, I nipped into the same shop as I got the Rangers top and the, the Belgian League shirt. Uh, I, I found this. I walked in and I saw the Kappa sleeves and was like, I'm getting that regardless of what it is. And it was even better. It was the City goalkeeper shirt. Um, same shirt that Nicky Weaver wore in the 99 playoff final. Um, it holds great memories for all City fans uh, and you don't see many of these around as well um, I picked it up for 20 quid which is an absolute steal uh, Class football shirts have just got one in a small and that's up for 175 um, this is in a medium so uh, it's a bit more pricier and it fits me I'm never parting with it uh, another City shirt this is when we had a bit of a crisis uh, with Reebok um, a lot of teams with Reebok back then mainly Bolton and Liverpool that come to mind uh, but this one um, white and purple a very um Strange combination of colours. It's another shirt from the World Cup. Uh, this one's the Argentina one. Uh, 2018 World Cup. Uh, Argentina had like a little pixelated graphic down it. Uh, I know that this one was also a throwback, but I don't remember which kit to. Um, uh, I'll ask Richard Johnson. He's the Argentina guy. Uh, I remember when this one arrived. I got it sent to work. Um, and it came bagged in with a tag still on it as well. I got it from Classic Football Shirts. Uh, and I, I took the tag off and I bagged it. And someone was devastated that I just ruined something from so early but uh, this one is the 1992 uh, Napoli away shirt I believe this was the kit that they had after uh, Maradona left I think he moved to uh, Sevilla um, yeah what a fun character he is again much like the uh, Juventus uh, Dybala shirt I have I've got the, um, the home version to it as well again just the year after they changed the badge so I thought why not it's a funky badge change and hopefully it goes up in price. I wanted this one for so, so long. 
Um, it's the Zebra Jacket from, uh, they have the, their third kit, which went with this as well. I do have that. It's underneath this coat. I'll show you in a sec. Um, but this, this, this windbreaker was just amazing. Um, I think it was 2016, 17, maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, but I'll show you the shirt as well. The shirt is relatively plain. It's just a, a, a white shirt. The uh, Adidas three stripes going down the torso. Um, but the, the zebra sleeves make it for me. It's it's amazing. Um, I've not bought anything Juventus since, uh, mainly because of Ronaldo. Um, I don't support rapists. Can we please ignore the fact about uh, Adam Johnson? Um, so uh, this is a Newcastle shirt. It's the only uh, English team I have that isn't City or Rochdale. Um, I got this shirt for free, which is the only reason I kept it. Um, uh, sponsored by Wonga. They're evil bastards, they are. I, I have this uh, Besiktas shirt as well. Um, I bought this. I think this is the away shirt. Um, I like this, the badge. It's quite felty. It's quite weird, actually. Um, the only reason I bought this was because of their uh, transfer uh, videos, the come to Besiktas uh, things. It's, it's amazing. It's stupid. And I love it. So this is the Corinthian shirt. It's from 2015-16. Uh, so it's a similar city design to the city shirt with uh, the Delphon. Um, it's kind of mirrored uh, black instead of white and uh, white instead of blue. Uh, but a lovely shirt. I imagine the original one, or the one worn by players, was covered in sponsors. But um, if you buy a Brazilian team shirt, you don't tend to get the sponsors, sadly. Um, but no, this is this is still a, a great shirt. Speaking of sponsors, this one is uh, the Pumas Unam shirt. Uh, everyone needs a Puma shirt. Uh, they're, they're a Mexican team, if you're not familiar. Um, but sponsored uh, by DHL. Um, I think there's Coca-Cola in, uh, on the back and uh, Corona at the bottom. I'm sure Corona is uh, doing amazing at the moment, sales-wise. Uh, this is the Spain away shirt for the 2016 Euros. Uh, known as the Nacho design. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, I believe the original uh, plan behind this design uh, is it's uh, kind of a take on the heat map of Fernando Torres' winning goal in the 2014 World Cup, I believe. I'll have to double-check that. Uh, but regardless, it's it's a really nice shirt. Uh, I bought this shirt in London uh, in the classic football shirt shop. Uh, it's just the 2002-2003 uh, uh, Manchester City shirt. It was the last year we had at Main Road. Um, I love a good sash. And it was also the last season of uh, Sean Gota, who's on the back. Um... What a man. Uh, there's another shirt I got for Christmas. It's the, the last buy-in shirt I have. Uh, I believe this is the, the one they entered the um, Millennium in. Uh, it's the 2000-2001 away shirt, I believe. Um, but a very nice design. Nice and tidy. Got another Ajax shirt. Uh, I believe this was 1996-97, uh, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of just watermarked full of different... Uh, Amsterdam attractions and stuff. It's uh, it's it's quite great. It says uh, Ajax uh, watermarked at the back as well. I'm not too sure if you can see that. Oh, you can. My camera's really good. Uh, this one is uh, going to be popular now. Uh, it's a China shirt. This is the 2008-2009 uh, shirt, I believe. Uh, don't, I'm not too sure. I really like this jagged pattern up the, the one. Uh, I believe this is the away one, actually. Um, but yeah, you're not going to see many people with a China shirt, so I'm happy I have it. We're getting into the territory of uh, white and uh, Germany now, so um, this is this is going to be it's going to be fun for me. Uh, this is a jacket they brought out in 2018. Um, I don't believe the team wore it, um, but it was just part of the the, the leisure wear. Uh, the, the print, uh, as I say, Germany kind of it took well Adidas took inspiration for 2018 from previous designs. Uh, so this is similar to the uh, 1994. Uh, design which you'll see now and this is the 1994 shirt uh, this is the first shirt i bought that got me into collecting um so i'm very happy i have this it's a stunning germany shirt it's one of my favorites this poncho design uh, it was one of the 94 world cup and i know that this design was also used elsewhere um i believe by munich had it but didn't wear it uh, and besiktas definitely had it in in red um but it's a great shirt the dfb um watermark is just acro across the whole shirt uh and yeah it's amazing how does Adidas and uh, Germany follow the 1988-91 kit? Uh, it's not easy, uh, but they brought this out. Uh, it's I think this is great. Uh, I love the little uh, Adidas sash on the, in the German flag colours. Uh, it's just a nice, clean shirt on the front. Uh, I think this is the 92-93 shirt, uh, which, if I'm right, would have been the first kit worn by a unified Germany uh, nation, which is great speaking of that shirt uh, the uh, 88 to 91 i'm not too sure if this is real um, which is why i don't tend to wear it much um but you can never go wrong with with this design it is fantastic uh, i think this is just a leisure, leisure wear t-shirt actually uh, but the label inside looks too new so it's probably just a remake um sadly but i will i will own one eventually they they're, they're more common than you think 
Then also around the 2018 World Cup, they brought out a load of mashup shirts. Uh, the the Argentina one was it was a bit grim in, in two different contrasting colours. Uh, I got the Germany one. Um, again, deep, well, I mean, white and green kind of contrast each other. But I don't know. This one was really, really nice. Um, again, a take on the 91. Sorry, the uh, 88 to 91. Okay. It was really great. Uh, the number on the back, uh, 10 and 11. It's very uncomfortable to wear the print, um, but I know these are still available. So if you do like this, you can pick one up still. And this is the final shirt I have from uh, Germany in the 2016 Euros. Uh, I do have more Germany shirts, don't worry. Um, but yeah, this is just a long sleeve version of the home shirt they wore. Um, so I have the home, the away and the goalkeeper shirt. Uh, I didn't realise that until I was looking last night. Um, but yeah, I love long sleeve and I love Germany. We all know this design, we've seen it many times, uh, but this is the World Cup shirt from 2018 uh, with the, the, the World Cup winning patch from 2014. I know this patch kind of uh, splits opinions. I don't really mind it. Uh, it's kind of seen everywhere. Uh, I didn't get anyone printed on the back, sadly, but um, it's just a clean monochrome version of a, a fantastic design. And then I have uh, I have a jumper to go with it. I wore this a lot when I had an office job and it was great because um, it technically classed as office wear. So, <laughs> beat the system. Uh, this is my last Germany shirt now uh, and I bought it um, with the Spain shirt with uh, Iniesta on the back. So I bought it from the same guy on Twitter. I paid £100 for both shirts. Both shirts have tags on. Um, this one is from 1919. No, this is from 2014. This is the World Cup winning kit that they wore uh, and I was so happy to get uh, Philip Lahm printed on the back. Um, he just an amazing player, uh, and to get a kit he he played in, uh, being the one that they won the World Cup in, is is great. Um, I'm not too sure uh, whether this is player issue or not, because it's more of a plastic transfer for the the badge rather than uh, embroidered like it is on most shirts. But it's it's still a great shirt. It's another Man City one. Ta da! This was probably my favourite shirt we had with Nike, despite what I said about that home shirt. Uh, this was the third shirt from that season, um, which is why I didn't have that at the time. Um, but it's, it's, I love, I love stripes, I love sashes, anything like that. Um, it's just so clean. Melbourne City had this design as well uh, a couple of years back, because um, they are owned by the umbrella of the City Football Group. Um, but I just remember uh, Yaya Torre scoring a great goal against Victoria Pilsen in this shirt. Good memories. We're getting to two Borussia Mönchengladbach shirts now, and they're both stunning. Uh, this one is the 1996-97 um, home shirt, it, so the, the contrast to the black one I showed you earlier. Uh, it's just great. Again, more stripes, white, black, and green just works so well. Uh, this was when Reebok were pretty decent at making kits. Um, and they've just they've just smashed it here. It's a, it's a great shirt. And then a shirt from the season before. This is the home shirt uh, from ninety four to ninety sorry ninety five to ninety six. Uh, again, uh, got it in long sleeved, so I'm very happy with it. Um, it's really long on the body, so it's a bit like a dress. Uh, the, the neck collar is amazing. Uh, I again, I love this shirt. Uh, Montre Gladbach on the back. Um, it does sadly have little uh, holes in it, tiny holes, but. Uh, I'll I'll make do. Uh, in 2019, when the uh, Women's World Cup kits were announced, uh, I fell in love with this one immediately. Sadly, I haven't been able to get the socks, um, but I did manage to get the France away shirt. Um, I got this in a large. I had an office job when I when I bought this, um, and I put on a bit of weight, uh, so it fit me then. But now it's a bit like a hospital gown. Um, I'm I'm not complaining. It's a stunning shirt. I like that the Nike uh, tick and the uh, French cockerel are in like a rose goldy pink thing. It's very different. Uh, France have had some great white shirts. Uh, this one is very smart casual. <laughs> Everyone's seen this one before. It's the Hummel uh, Cultural Deportivo uh, Leonosa shirt. This one's the goalkeeper shirt. Um, nice little tuxedo. Uh, I, I was very tempted to wear this to graduation. But I didn't go to graduation, so never mind. Uh, so this one is the 2013, I believe, um, Real Oviedo shirt. I'm not really too sure why I bought this. I think it was just cheap on classic football shirts, so I'm not going to pass up a, a, a cheap football shirt. Um, but I really like this. It's really clean. It's it's white pinstripes. Again, more stripes. Love them. Uh, and th but this sponsor on the back at the bottom, um, it. It kind of feels a bit weird on, on, on the back of my back. I've got the only England shirt I own now, um, and it's it's not even a, a real one. It's a score draw one. Um, it's the 1982 kit, I believe. I can't remember. It was one of the Admiral ones. Um, this this shirt kind of splits opinion on, on people, whether it's the best England shirt or just overhyped. Uh, I love it, personally. Um, but again, it's a score draw one. I'd love to own the real one, uh, but money. Uh, this one... Um, this one's pretty grim. Uh, it's La Jolla CD. Uh, 
like I said with the broccoli one where they're sponsored by local producers, uh, these are sponsored by a um, uh, frozen supermarket, I believe. Um, so they decided to do prawns. Um, it makes it worse that they're not in focus on the shirt. Um, so it's really strange. Um, the back is worse. It's it's even bigger. Um, and I know the kits, they had this in... Um, in black, in pink, and in green. Uh, but this one's the best one because it's white and blue. Um, they go really well together. I bought this next one off um, Gustavo Thomas, who who tells me it's a match-worn one. Um, it's a San Marino shirt. Uh, you don't tend to get many match-worn San Marino shirts. I know it was auctioned off. Um, so it's, it's been passed down a few people, so there's no signature. Uh, the badge is sadly uh, coming off and I can't sew for shit so I've not sorted that uh, but apparently it was match won by Andy Selva who is the leading goal scorer for San Marino I thought that was quite impressive at the time until I googled and I think he's only got like three goals so um, it's still nice to have it and it's, uh, it's got a little signature on the back again I love a bit of lace and I love Hummel uh, so this is the Albacete if I'm saying that right Albacete I don't know um, but it's the 75th anniversary shirt so it's from 2015 nearly done now um, this one is a New York Cosmo shirt um, I believe this is kind of like a, a, a redo one, um, or just a, a modern take on one. The Umbro logo's on the sleeve. Um, this does fit very strange, though. It's, it's quite tight on the on the body, but loose everywhere else. Um, whether that's just me having a really fucked up body. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I do. I really like this. Uh, this next one is another player issue shirt, and there is only one reason I bought it. It's the sponsor. Um, I'm a child. Uh, I find bimbo funny. Um, if, if you're not English, Google what bimbo means. Um, it just it's my only MLS shirt I believe other than the New York Cosmo shirt um, player issue as I say uh, Philadelphia Union it's a, it's a nice tidy shirt actually um, I'm, I'm happy I have it the last two shirts are two Inter Milan shirts uh, this one is the away shirt for uh, 20 hmm yeah I don't remember I want to say 2015 because this, this insert here is similar to the 2015 City shirts um, but just a really nice design um, the classic cross that we know Inter for uh, and um, kind of some subtle stripes as well I like stripes my final shirt um, I have this after uh, I was more of a Pez kid rather than FIFA um, so I have many memories. I have many memories of playing PES 2010 um, as Inter, uh, and if you know anything from 2010, they had a bloody dragon going up the kit. It's amazing. Uh, this is the away one. I've been after this shirt for for so so long, like since since 2010. Um, uh, but but yeah, I managed to get this off eBay. Um, it this one, I'm not too sure what has happened. Whether he's washed it with jeans or something, but this is more grey than white. It should be white. Um, but but I love it. It's it's great. It's got a dragon. It's got a dragon. Um, so that's it for my kits. Thank you for wasting. I don't know how long this will be. My camera cut off halfway through, so that took about two hours to sort. Let's say half an hour. I hope you enjoyed this half an hour. Um, if you did, uh, comment below. What what was your favourite kit? What what would you like? Um, I'm not selling them, but if you offer something I'd be happy to sell or trade or whatever I like Germany shirts as you can tell or Dortmund um, but yeah uh, thank you for watching uh, if you haven't then follow me on Twitter and um, on Instagram uh, Kiss It Out Pod uh, I, I do a podcast called Kiss It Out which you can also check out actually I should plug that as well it's on Apple it's on Spotify it's on Google uh, it's on other things but the link is in my bio for Twitter and uh, Instagram so yeah thank you very much for watching I'll see you soon, and uh, we'll be allowed outside very soon.